Hello everyone and welcome to this video about Rome Research. I am going to be showing you today how to import articles and notes that you've made on articles really quickly and easy into Rome using a tool called Eloquent. Now, I got a bit frustrated because I came from Notion and Evernote where you could easily use a web clipper to clip information from your articles and just send them straight into your note-taking app. Now, Rome currently doesn't have this solution as a, a easily accessible solution. So I want to tell you a bit about a tool that I found. Now, this tool is called Eloquent. It's currently in beta stage and it's made by this guy by the name of Jeremy Ho. I'm going to link to him in Twitter and I'm going to give him a shout on Twitter because I think this tool is incredible. But what I'd like to show you now is how I use Eloquent with a text expander or more correctly auto hotkey to capture information quickly in Rome research. So let's take a look at an article and I'm going to be looking at an article from James Clear today and we're going to be specifically looking at this article. The ultimate productivity hack is saying no. So what I've done here is I have, I've obviously got Rome research running here. Here's my Rome research and I've got the extension here running. This is Eloquent. Now I'm going to link to Eloquent so you can download the extension. It is in beta currently. It's a free extension, so I download it while I can. But this is basically how it works. There's a shortcut, which is Control Shift E. You just press that and it brings up this window, which you can drag around, which you can drag around, I believe. I don't know why that's not working. There we go, you can drag it around and you can just make it stick to the sidebar uh, or the side of the screen, which I find really useful. Because sometimes you can, you would want to take up all that space on the side there. Now, I love how clean it is and how it really does just provide you space to take your notes. And you can see here, I can take notes. It, it really is just a simple space to take notes. But this is where it excels, is that it was specifically made for Rome research. And there's no doubt that you could use it for Evernote um, Notion and probably Obsidian and any other note-taking app for that matter. But what they've done is they've they've allowed you to use the Rome research syntax. So I can say double brackets and it automatically brings up the double brackets, which is native to Rome. And I can put in here title, for example. And now that's great because when I'm done writing my article, let's see if this expander works. That's my expander for lorem ipsum. So you'll see here that I've used a text expander to get lorem ipsum. This is great because now I can just take this control A, control C and go to Rome research and then just paste it in here like so. And there it's created the title. So I'm just going to undo that and go back to my window here. So this is how I use um, auto hotkey and Rome research together. Auto hotkey allows you to create shortcuts and hotkeys and really does allow you to script and do some really powerful things. So you can actually program many applications, so to speak, or little programs into hotkeys and text expansions. So if I type in here, Rome article, it brings up this little thing here, which is, I don't know why that wasn't a asterisk, that's weird. Anyways, so it brings up this thing here, which is my syntax for when I'm taking notes on an article. Before I get into that, what I'd like to do is show you some of the text expansions that you can do with Eloquent. So these are things that you can do with Eloquent. So I can very quickly just type forward slash title and it brings out the title of the article. Some other text expansions are author. You can also use publisher. So it's just said James Clear, but sometimes what happens is if like HubSpot, for example, or a company writes an article, you, when you type author, it's the author's name and then publisher will be the, the company's name. You can also say published, which will show the dates that was published, which is really great. And I've got some notes here of some other. Okay, I think those are most of the, the 
text expansions that you can use for articles. But I, I do want to note that this can be used for videos as well. It's really great. So what you can do is when you're watching a video, you can write TS, which means time stamp. And what it will do is we'll insert the current time that you're at in a video, which is great when taking notes on videos. What, what I'm going to just show you now is typically how I would take notes for an article. So as I showed you earlier, I'll just say Rome article, and this is just a, a hotkey that I made myself. There we go. It worked this time. And then I'll quickly type in title. You see here by default, it says article. And then I'll say here author. And we know it's just going to say James Clear, but sometimes what I'll do is I'll write the, the company as well. And you see here, it's made these brackets. Now for influence, what I usually do is I just try to write every um, relevant topic. So this is obviously about productivity because it's in the title. So I'm going to say hashtag productivity. But then I also like to try insert short search queries that I'd use in the influence. So I might say something like how to say no just in case I ever search that. And like the idea is over time, you accumulate this knowledge through Rome that's all linked together. Then with the link, I could type URL. That's one I didn't mention. And then we are good to go. Now, the other really cool thing about Eloquent that you can do is you can, you can click on this um, little highlight tool here and I can start highlighting things from this article that says not doing something will always be faster than doing it and i say yes that is incredibly deep and it brings it automatically to here and that could be a quote so that's typically how i would take notes and i'm not going to read through this but i mean say for example i want to highlight that and then maybe i want to highlight why we say yes and bring in that paragraph so it's really quite straightforward how we how i could take notes with this system um, again eloquent is a really helpful tool it even has well i don't know why it's not showing but sometimes it shows this button just remember it is in beta but sometimes it shows a, a button that says to roam which just opens your roam window for you but i mean alternatively you just say control a and then control c and then what i would typically do is i'd take the title of the the article so the title is the ultimate productivity hack is saying no. I'll just click out of there. Click, click in. And then I'll paste it in like so. And then what I like to do is just uh, put these uh, this metadata underneath medium because that allows me to query the article and the other tags. So I can say, show me every article written by James Clear which I'm not gonna go into too much right now, but this is the basic way that I take notes through using Eloquent on Room Research. I hope this has been helpful. Um, I know I was pretty excited when I found this method, but yeah, that's all I really have to say about Eloquent and how to take notes on articles. Um, I'd love to do a video someday on how to use auto hotkey to create shortcuts for Roam research because that can also be incredibly helpful. But in the meantime, it's been great. I really appreciate you watching this video. You can go over to my website and sign up for my newsletter. I just write about things that I've learned and I just share interesting articles and videos. But another way you can help me is by subscribing to this channel. I really do appreciate it. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I reply to everything. Have a great week further. It's been fantastic.